Hi, welcome back to the course. This time we are going to continue with that big question I introduced the last time. The question about life, health, age, aging, death. But this issue of age is a very fascinating one. Like if you ask me, what's my age? I will give you a number. Yeah? Like for example, today I'm 61. Now what does that mean actually? Because these numbers are big numbers. Age of the universe, 14 billion years. Age of planet Earth, 4 billion years. Age of pyramids, around 5,000 years. Age of Taj Mahal, 500 years. Me today, 61. Similarly, you might be at some number. But is that what we are understanding with age? Is that only a number? And does it make any sense? Because numbers run from one to infinity. And I already mentioned that somewhere on those numbers, we are going to die. So how those numbers matter? These numbers do matter for social purposes, for governments to decide how long we should work, when we should have retirement, or at what age we should get different types of rights. You know, when at what number we get a voting right, at what number you can buy alcohol, at what number uh, uh, you have the free choice of uh, making love to anybody. Yeah? When do you pay certain entry fees as a child or not child? So these numbers have some meaning, but that's not enough. When I tell the number, if I tell you that I am 16 years old, you will laugh. Yeah? Because you will say, no, 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 he's not 60. But if I tell you I am 106, even then you will laugh that I know even that's not. So you do expect something from the number that around 61, yes, plus minus something. And that's what is the first thing we judge about each other. When we look at each other, we assign a number because then we have certain expectations. What kind of body this person may have? What kind of problems this person may or may not have? What kind of lifestyle or what kind of behavior we expect from this person? But at the same time, the interesting thing is, although I am 61 now in 27, just 2017, and next month I become actually 62, I feel like 45. Now, what does that mean? Because my father, when he was 86 years old, he also used to say he felt like it, 45. Now, this is again adds to another very interesting dimension that what we have the number assigned to us by our date of birth versus what we feel at different stages of life, that needs to be really appreciated and it has great value in our quality of life, in our health, the way we live, the way we want to handle our good and bad situations. So this is one area which needs to be really well appreciated. That number limits us and we need to talk about age in some other way. Numbers are important, but that is not the one we want you and I myself to get stuck to. So then how do we talk about age? Now the other way scientists and sociologists talk about age is in terms of stages, that there are different stages of life. Because first of all, life is limited. A number is an infinite series, infinite, from one to immortality. But life is limited. We know it may be few years, long time, whatever, but it is not immortal. So then the other best way is to talk about it in stages, like the stage of infancy, childhood, adolescence, youth, maturity, old age. Sociologists normally talk about one, two, three ages. Now these days they actually talk fourth or even fifth age. Now that is a very interesting way to talk about because that gives a fluidity to our survival. Where do we feel in our lifetime? So age as a stage. And if we want to talk about aging, aging is the process in scientific terms where most of the time we are going to become weaker and weaker. We are losing function. 
our chances of problems and diseases increase before we finally die. And that is the period of aging in terms of old age coming into the body. Although we use the word old even for a newly born baby. Oh, my granddaughter is now seven months old. Of course she is not old. In the sense I just mentioned that old taking this part from aging where mostly our life is downhill. We will be talking about that a lot in the next coming lectures. Uh, that what is aging? When does it start? How does it start? Is there any switch in the body which starts making us old? Is it irreversible? Can we do anything about it? Can simple exercises from body movement to mental exercises to breathing exercises food, yeah, meditation, our way of looking at the world. Can these things affect the quality of life and the duration of life? How long you want to live? Do I want to live 600 years? I am 61. Do I want to add another zero to it at the end? Why not? These are some of the things we will talk next time. I'll see you again.